Hello guys and welcome back to the next episode of Legion United career mode. All leads are we marching on together, all the good stuff. Um, as you saw last time, you know, we're, we're definitely doing better. Bamford's moving up in the scoring though, because Bamford did have a, a pretty good set of games last 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 time. He's got a couple of goals in the last couple of games and he's third in top scorer list. So he's definitely, ever since we moved into target, man, he's really been, you know, working wonders for us and stuff. So, you know, it's... You know, at least we got a draw, but uh, we, like I said, these next, uh, I, I might, I might just do the next two. Uh, yeah, I, th I think, yeah, I'm gonna do the next two, and then I'll, I'll do two, two. I don't even know. You know, it's it, this is gonna be Crystal Palace and Brentford today. We might, we might do the Chelsea game. Oh, but let's get to it, guys. Straight into the game. <laughs> Well, here we are, guys, back at Ellen Road against Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace obviously beat us in the round of one EFL Cup. Well, it might have been round of three or something like that, but they beat us in our first round in the EFL Cup. And, uh, you know, here we are. We've got to try our best to get revenge on them. Sweet, sweet revenge. And also, we've got to try and beat them, you know? Crystal Palace is always going to be a hard game, though. You know, they're a good team, but they are in the relegation zone in this. So, hopefully, with our full strength of our squad, obviously, we're missing Robin Cock. And we really do need a better centre mid, but, you know, it's projected 27 goals, Patrick Bamford. Hey. Well, he's playing well ever since Ever since he moved to that, that position, he's been playing really well. So, I think 15 goals plus, I'll be happy this season with what Bamford's done. But, you know, here's the Leeds lineup. Obviously, we've got Melier, we've got Aylin Laurenti, Cooper and Firpo. With Dallas, no, 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 I'm starting to click over Dallas, sorry. Uh, click and uh, thing, and then Daniel James, Harrison. Pretty much the same as last time, except Click starting over Dallas. I, I, uh, you know, Click scores wonder goals, and I've been taking him out, and Dallas hasn't really been doing anything, so I thought, let's put him back in, see what he can do. If he can score a goal for us here and there, he'll be able to score a goal, but, you know, let's do it anyway, boys, and girls, and children of all ages. Crystal Palace lineup as follows Vincente Guaita with Ferguson, Martin Kelly, Anderson, and Tirik Mitchell with Gallagher, Mil Milivojevic, Reidwald, Jordan Ayew, Christian Benteke, and Wilfred Zaha. Definitely a stronger lineup than what they played last time. Obviously, they were playing Eberich Eze on the left side last time. Still a good player in all the, in all uh, things. Alton Edward could play over, over Benteke as well. He's a really dangerous player to come off the bench. But anyway, let's get into the game, guys, and here we go. Oh, beautiful football. Rafini down the right side, straight into the middle. What a beautiful bit of football here, Rafinha. Running down that right side, sees the spear, sees Bamford running into him. Bamford with a first time tapping. What a goal. What a beautiful bit of play. Nothing the keeper could do there, unfortunately, but a beautiful bit of football from Leeds United. Save. It's there for him. Needs to get that balance a bit up. Hands, the leads are playing real good football here. Oh! And that's the end of that. <laughs> Christian Benteke to Jordan Ayew. Beautiful tackle. That's beautifully done by Leeds. All the way out to Dan James. What can Dan James do now? Other than get tackled. Keeps the ball in play. Furpa with the down the line ball over the top to Dan James. What can Dan James do? Early ball in. Rafinha. Oh, unlucky. Click's going to win this header though. Oh, but it's a header that goes to nowhere. <laughs> What is this? Bruh. See how hard I hit that ball? Of course I'm not going <laughs> to... Let's go straight to where the player is and love to see it. Well, 
Oh, what a ball. What a ball if he can get to it. Which he can. And he's going to shoot because why not? Oh! Yes, let's go! Let's go! Oh! A tap in for Rafinha and a well deserved goal. Keeper fumbles it and he's been making mistakes all game, I've said it. Would have been a goal of the season. Dan James goes for the hit, the keeper fumbles it and he's right there. Wonderful, wonderful, we love to see it. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Wonderful tackle there by Dallas. Oh and terrible touch though, what's he doing? Yo, I, he obviously tried to stop it the ball, but it just didn't have should have been sprinting if he was gonna do that. What a tackle. Oh, Bamford's through one on one. And it's gone in. It's an absolute execution. Celebrates to his mum and dad in the crowd. <laughs> At Ellen Road. He goes over to the away fans, and he's, he's showing him who's boss. <laughs> Keeper makes a good save, but just can't get enough on it. It's a bad shot by Bamford and all. But it's too powerful for the keeper, and he really should be making a save there. But that's just unfortunate. Oh, what a terrible fake shot. And, oh! What a terrible pass! And it's 4 0 Leeds United! Oh, what a, what a performance! What a performance by Leeds United! Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. What a rocket of a shot! Oh! Oh, the clean sheet's gone. Oh, you've got to try it. The lad scored an absolute perler of a shot from about 60 yards out. You've got to try it. So almost at full time, and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, what an excellent performance this has been. Oh, no. Oh, that's my bad again. I'm, I'm switching off. I'm switching off. I'm switching off. Just skip that. Just skip it. we got to go. we got to go. Oh, oh, if he'd have turned, then he might have scored. Ooh. And that's 4 2 to Leeds. Best performance we've put in. All Leeds fans holding up the scars. We're the champions, champions of Europe. Here we are, guys, again. Have a look at some of the youth squads, see what's going on. So we've got Roger Wood. He's dropped down to a 77 91, but he should be alright to um, bring in anyway. He's 84 94. 80-94, It's all good though. You know, these are players that we can definitely uh, nurture and sell on and stuff like that. So yeah, the monthly scouting report though. We've got Leo Glover, Logan Logan Bacon, what a name, Henry Betts, Albert West, Dominic Stewart, Theodore Corbin, what a name. <laughs> Frankie Taylor is a goalkeeper. We can Oscar Carter. Reese James, eh? We got, we got. <sighs> Noah Webb, nothing really interesting there for me. But yeah, let's have a look. Anyway, we've got, we've got, we've got Bright Brentford.
Brentford, that's it, we've got Brentford. And I realised something as well, oh, with Lawson, Roman Lawson, let's have a look at the team that's offered Fiorentina, that is going to be a reject offer. Um, I'm not going to let him go to a team that's not going to play him. And I don't think Fiorentina are going to play him. We want like a championship level team to come in and play and to come for him. Um, but here we are, anyway. Bamford, actually, but this is what I was, that's what I was going to say. Since we played them, Podence hasn't scored a goal. I mean, we, listen, Furpo put him in his back pocket. And Bamford's now top scorer. And he's uh, got four assists as well. Rafinha's top assist maker. So we're, we're, we're doing really well at the moment, I feel. I mean, Bamford's in line for top top boot. He's he's really scored a lot of goals. Since we put him on target, man, he's been literally ridiculous for us. Um, and I'm really happy with that. But anyway, let's jump into the Brentford game, guys. Obviously, the Crystal Palace one was fantastic. But let's jump into it, see what we can do. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome back. I accidentally skipped the starting screen. So here we are. Go straight into the gameplay. It's Brentford. Um, we've made a couple changes to the bench. We're starting Rodrigo. Um, the team felt good last time, but Rodrigo's getting a little bit unsettled, so I don't want to lose a player like him. I mean, I'm not really that bothered, to be honest, but I really just want to get you know get everyone happy and make him play better. Let's see what we can do with Aylin here. It's a nice little bit of football. Click and get back to that, but Furpo can get that one. Up to Dan James. Oh, Rodrigo might be the unluckiest player ever, to be honest. I mean, he could have had 50 goals this season. Beautiful defending. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So unfortunate. Oh, beautiful bit of football. Beautiful bit of football there by Leeds to equalise. You love to see it. You love to see beautiful football. And that's exactly what just happened. Boom, 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 boom. What a beautiful play. What a beautiful play. Click with the finish yet again. Click is just, he's, I feel like he's just better than Dallas at that position. And uh, I, I don't know who I'd prefer to play in real life. Click is just someone who goes under the radar, man. He's a really, really well rounded player. Oh, Rafinha. Oh, Rafinha to make it 2-1 to Leeds. What a strike. What a strike. What a strike. What an absolute beauty of a finish. Clicking Rafinha on the on the score sheet to get two one. Beautiful. I feel like he's like leveled up. <laughs> it's weird. He's become so eighty four rated. He feels faster. He feels more agile. Unlucky, but beautiful football nevertheless. Ellen needs to watch that top. And that's a beautiful tackle. It really is. Rafinha really is having the game of his life. If he could have got through there, that would have been insane. It wasn't a good enough pass. Phillips. Oh, Phillips has gone and done it. The Leeds born lad, the Yorkshire Perler. He's gone and got his first goal with the club under Niall Jenko Jenko. Because <laughs> I said it twice. Because it's that nice, it has to be said twice. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power. The keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. 
Beautiful finish. I didn't get a red. <laughs> Beautiful football. <laughs> I think we've got Chelsea next, guys. So this should be a hard game for the third, third game of the episode. And uh, let's see how we do. Eh? But uh, I'm probably expecting a loss. But it's definitely winnable. I mean, that Brentford game was really good. I enjoyed it. But let's see how we do. And uh, let's do it. And here we are, guys, at Stamford Bridge. I've never seen the Petrek Tifo before, but that's pretty cool that they've got that in honour of uh, their, one of their best goalkeepers. Probably their best goalkeeper ever, to be fair. But yeah, it's going to be a, a hard game against Chelsea. I mean, there's the kick clash for the keeper, but what can you do about that? Normally the keeper should change in that situation. Uh, Chelsea got quite a nice kick this season. I mean, it's a bit of a ziggy zag with the squares. I mean, they might play a bit of drafts and stuff on one side, but it's all right. <laughs> but yeah, you know, we've been playing really well. So Patrick Bamford, obviously, he's on fire at the moment. He's scoring goals left, right and centre. Rafinha on fire at the moment. He's assisting in scoring goals left, right and centre. And that Brentford game, he, he was having a masterclass, in my opinion. Definitely the best player on the pitch. Um, James also, he's playing really well as well. Like, the speed is hard for people to deal with, and it's creating opportunities. But yeah, here we go. Uh, apparently, is Thiago Silva the captain? Um, I didn't, I didn't know he was the captain. I suppose he could have been made the captain because when uh, Tuchel went to Chelsea, he decided, you know, I thought it was Jorginho or something, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not 100 percent certain. That's, yeah, but Tuchel goes there. He's probably going to make the guy that was his captain at his last club the captain again. I think a man who knows how to lead a club. But here's the Chelsea lineup anyway. I'm pretty sure they're playing five at the back. Yep. Oh, this is just going to be annoying. It's a bit of a lag there, guys. I do apologise. And goal Kante and Kovacic with Ziyech, Werner and Pulisic. Which means they've got Lukaku on the bench, Kai Havertz, Saul, Mount. They've got such a dangerous bench right now. Holy moly. We've got the same lineup as usual with Strike starting over Cooper. Click starting over Dallas. Rafinha, Rodrigo and Daniel James. And then also Patrick Bamford. With the likes of Harris and Tyler Roberts and Roman Lawson on the bench. I can't, I can't be playing Joe Gale that again. Man got, a, man got a yellow card after two seconds at Brentford game. What's going on? We're Leeds United. We're top of the league. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious me. We can definitely get this back. Game's definitely winnable. They don't feel as strong as, uh, as you know. No, 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 I meant to press X and I press Y and it taps it, but obviously if you press X, my butt, my finger slipped on the button, so it just like, because I was meant to press X and it, oh, that's annoying. Terrible defending there by strike. Ah, we can get it back. Quick feet. Look at the shirt, Paul. That should be a yellow card, if anything. Oh, so unlucky. Nice, nice little attempt there by Rafinha running down the wing. At this episode, I've probably been a little, little bit quiet as it's gone on, guys. It's, for me, it's 4 o'clock in the morning now, and I'm really tired. I do apologise. Let's go to sleep after this. But we've got Pulisic running down the left side. I'm going to cross it in. Oh no. Rafinha gets the ball here. Oh, and what is going on? Down to Ireland though. Ireland to Phillips. Phillips to Bamford. Oh, what a shot. Oh. Harrison, really love him down the centre. I might be moving him to centre attack in mid. What a wonderful, wonderful bit of play there by these lads. Through ball by... Through ball by Bamford, straight through to Harrison. What a wonderful strike. Beautiful. Oh, 
Oh, Rafinha makes it 2 2. You love to see it. You love to see it. This same celebration. Quiet down, boys. Quiet down. You love to see it. Quiet down. Beautiful. That's two assists for Bamford. We love to see it. Oh, bloody hell. We love to see it. We love to see it. Anyway, guys, <laughs> let's make the sub. Let's make some subs and get to the next one. Oh! You put your house on him to score there. Would have been a beautiful goal just on the other side of the post, unfortunately. I really don't think that you should, like, not be allowed to come into the box for a goal kick, man. They should bring that back. Like, if they pass it, that's their fault. <laughs> Alright, unless, unless it's like a rule that you're not allowed. Ooh! Could be a card. Ooh, it is a card. It's a free kick from a dangerous position. Easy enough though, easy enough to put wide. Oh, I should have shot, that's my fault. I keep on, I keep on just not trusting my players, but it's a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, it's a 2-2, two -two, but you know, it's definitely a hard fought 2-2. Two -two came back from 2-0 down to get that 2-2 and we probably could have won it in the end oh welcome back guys so today's episode has been pretty decent to be fair i mean crystal palace brentford and chelsea we could have won that chelsea game as well but this next three games are gonna be absolutely insane we play liverpool again away hopefully the brick wall of merseyside is gonna be no problem for us and we can beat them we play Arsenal. Arsenal is a huge game, but obviously they're not doing so well in actual reality. For Manchester City, you know, that's such a big game, as well as Aston Villa. We might play all four in next episode, or just do two, depending. I mean, we could do the three here, the three big ones, back to back to back. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. We are, how, how far away are we from? So, yeah, the transfer window opens after this month. So we've got four games until the transfer, well, five games until we really start dabbling in transfers and stuff but yeah that, that'd be exciting we'll see we'll see who we bring in and we'll see what players we decide to uh to go for i mean we can definitely have a look at someone now at the same time i mean jeremy frimpong let me scout this guy this could be someone that we could definitely bring in he's fast takihiro tomiyasu i don't think it's realistic because i'm pretty sure he's new but again it's definitely someone we can have a look at the best way to go to it obviously full back full time here we are uh, anyone decent here that we could have a look at? Benjamin Pavard, Daily Sincraven. <laughs> it's really just a pace, you know what I mean? Like we, Ailing's thirty, but anyway, we'll decide that when it comes to the transfer window. Anyway, uh, but thank you guys for watching again, and I will see you in the next one. And uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, comment on the videos, man. Try to get the YouTube algorithm and all that stuff and try to get good. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and goodbye.